Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. Today, Massive Media use this opportunity to thank all our listeners and our viewers, and also thank them for subscribing, liking, and sharing our videos. We thank you so much and say God bless you all. In today's topic, Massive will look at Asari Dokubo's rise into prominence in President Ahmed Tinibu's tenor. What this means to Nigerians and the world at large. First, Nigerians we are surprised to see Mr. Asari Dokubo in Asorok Villa recently after the inauguration of the president of Nigeria. They were also surprised to see him march to Asarok Presidential Conference Room to address Nigerians and the press. So these are the development of relationship between Asari Dokubo and the new Nigerian president. He was accorded that honor and the respect. Reasons Nigerians may not actually know why this honor was accorded to him, but time will prove why this happened. In the recent time, Nigerians have been able to see more development in the relationship between Asare Dokubo and the presidency. Before we continue, we would like to see what is happening and the new song Asari Dokubo is singing for his good friend let us hear that song before we continue I Yeah, this is a song for the president from his good friend Alaji Sari Asari Dokobo. He made this song and what will later come to open. In the recent time there are problems within the presidency and that problem came from the INEC Nigerian Electoral Commission. Mr. President Ahmed Tinubu was declared the president of Nigeria by Asari Dokubo, which everyone is aware, and this was 
challenged and alleged to be fraudulent. As a result, they all went to the tribunal to sort out these problems. The problems remained a problem as well to both the presidency, the Nigerian society, and the petitioners. These petitioners were or are Mr. Peter Gregory Obi of Lepopati and Alaji Abubaka Atiku of Lebo of Democratic Party, People's Democratic Party. These are the two main challengers of the president elect from APC. Things have never been going well. There have been problems. Now the tribunal is rounding or winding up their case and all the submissions made. But the case arise, especially on the issue of on the issue of Abuja. Abuja became a problem. Abuja became a 25% territorial problem that Tinimbu fears that we bring him down. What will be the reaction of his men? Asari Dokubo, this became a problem. Asari Dokubo is a full supporter of President Ahmed Tinebu. And he is also seeing the problem, this very particular 25% is about to cause in Nigeria. So he decided as a loyalist to form a militia group that will not only protect his friend but also act as antinode to those who are challenging him. It becomes a frightening point to those watching it, including the judges themselves. But what is the main issue? What do people think about it? What has the media say about it? Are they viewing it the way Nigerians are viewing it? Are they reporting it? Yes, they are reporting it. This report is also creating fears into the life of the president. Let us see what these people have to say. Around. The result of the presidential election and after our INEC has since been questioned by opposition parties, mainly the People's Democratic Party and the Labour Party and the candidates Peter Obi and Atiku Abubata. Although the named winner of the election, Malamet Tinubu, has since been inaugurated and has turned this two months into his administration, controversies still surround his emergence as president. The latest issue making the rounds, the president was quoted to have won the presidential tribunal election, petition tribunal against nullifying his election based on the interpretation of the 25% of 
federal capital territory votes. The president's most recent statement has thrown the nation's legal and non-legal voices into a debate about it. So, about this seemingly sacred 25% in the federal capital territory. But joining me tonight to unpack this issue on the show. Now, this is where the problem comes. The verdict of 25% which is being expected. Everyone is contemplating and insinuating on what the judges might interpret. There have been many interpretations of this 25% in federal capital territory, Abuja, in the past. But that is not entirely the area we are stressing. The most important of all we are saying here is the mission of Asari Dokobo with the president of Nigeria. There is a new formation of which we have to look at this military formation which the friend of Ahmed Tinubu, a brother of his, according to Asari Dokobo, he said he is his brother in faith. And his visit was to show his own solidarity. And the accorded respect was that which led to his appearance in the conference room. Therefore, Asari Dokubo, who is a supporter and a friend, a lawyer friend to the president, decided to find a solution to contribute to his own quarter to ensuring that the president do not lose the actual vote and also will not lose the presidency which he has already been sworn in this can be done through enemies so according to asari dokubo he says his support to tinubu goes beyond what anybody can think in his song and in his support he says if you do anyhow you see anyhow we work for president tinubu anyone seeking his downfall will fall asari dokubo addresses his militants on parade this is a very big solidarity this solidarity went beyond what many people think it goes to the point of forming a military outfit in support of what he is doing he wants the president to succeed he wants to encourage him he wants to provide the security even to at the point that even when it hurts the citizens of Nigeria, even when it affects Nigerians, it does not matter to him. What matters is that his friend succeeded in his mission. And what is that mission? To ensure that he returns his 
presidency. But with this security, silence everyone in Nigeria? That is the question. Will it silence the judgment? Will it silence the military? Military has already been accused in some quarters of keeping quiet, silent over this threat of Asari Dokobo. There has been no visible challenge or Nigerian army has not said anything as to why Asari Dokobo decided to get this security at this very point in time. Everyone is willing to hear the military speak, but unfortunately, some are arguing that the military is not going to do anything because they were appointed by the same president who is being supported by Asare Dokubo. They saw Asare Dokubo now with AK 47. Nothing was done. He accused the military of oil theft. Nothing was done. And that it will be difficult for them to challenge the presidency at this very point in time. That is the issue at hand. People are watching to hear the military speak to them. People are watching to know if military has anything to say on this very issue. But to date, the military has been silent. Let us watch what this Asari Dokubo and their men did in the in their inauguration. The question is, who are they defending? What is their mission? Was he able to explain what their mission is? That is what people want to hear. Not that 
he made the song for the formation and the parading and the display of his military groups. But what is their mission? That is what we have to listen and hear him speak. alive. Whatever the enemies are planning, they will Whatever the enemies are planning, what will happen? We are here. I think you are seeing me. Yes, sir. I am not a ghost. I just come from Saudi Arabia. Uh, yeah, yeah. We can go. We work for President Ahmed Bola Tinibu and he will succeed. Yes, Anybody who is planning for him to fail, the person had already. We are not competing with anybody. As you see us, we have never competed with anybody. Who is making noise there? Arrested! Who can arrest them? Which are right then? Which are right then? No, but I don't Which bring that man right? back, then we arrest them. <laughs> I just pardon her. I don't tell her to come before my arrest. So, thank you very much. Every one of you. You have tried. Things are coming. Eh? We are Na turn by turn. Na jagaban turn. Turn by turn. I beg you wait for your turn. Come on. We say now turn by turn, not a gaban turn, turn by turn. I beg you wait for it. Make you wait for your turn, Thank you very much. You can be able to witness by yourself the utterances of the man called Asari Dokubo and his new militant formation. Everyone is asking where are Nigerian security agencies. But these questions were asked during the time of Buhari when there were rampaging of Fulani, his men, bandits, Eswap, Boko Haram, and all sorts of militants creating problems all over the country. 
it has become a pattern and one is watching. But the question is, who are the real targets? Who are the real targets of the Asado Rokubo's militia group? Should they be the judges? Mr. Obi, Mr. Atiku, or the Igbos themselves? Who may be his target? It may not be the military. It may not be Atiku himself. What has the Southeast governors and the Honeze said about this? This is a very important scenario. When we get these answers, it will be beneficial for everyone, for the safety of the judges themselves, the judges of the election tribunal, the safety of the petitioners and their supporters as well as the Igbos who are the next target of this very formation, especially those IPOP, ECN, and or whatnot. Can the military create a security scenario whereby all Nigerians are safe. Nigeria is degenerating to a very dangerous society. If the president of a nation is being backed not only by the conventional military formation, security agencies, but also non-conventional and being allowed openly to operate the way they want. This is what we have for you today. We ask you to subscribe to this channel, like and share, and leave your comment. We thank you for listening and say God bless you all. Bye.